The learning objectives for this section on construction SAG analysis are as follows. One, understand how the construction process puts additional cable tension onto an incomplete abutment system. Two, apply full bridge stability checks to an incomplete abutment. And three, analyze minimum SAG allowed during construction. Now for context, remember the, from the cable analysis section. We introduce a new term referred to as construction SAG. This is because hoisting SAG is misleading. This is the cable SAG we desire under the self weight of the cables. However, cables both stretch over time and as you may know from the construction manual, need to be lowered into their SAG position. This little graphic of what it will look like lowering uh, the cable into its position from the, in the viewfinder is shown here. Because of this, during construction, cables are high hoisted, high hoisted, more than their proposed hoisting sag, where they then sit for 24 hours to let any stretch leave the cable and dissipate before they're then lowered to their hoisting sag desired position. We'll call this high hoisting value their construction sag. And although the self weight of the cable is not nearly as much as the full dead and live load, we need to, need to consider that the abutment fill, which would be here, will not be in place. Additionally, there's a possibility that the ramp walls will not be complete by the time the sag is set. And the back wall is to be completed after the sag is set usually. Therefore, we will calculate the high hoisting sag or construction sag limit for your specific bridge site. And this is extremely useful information for the field crew. We'll go through that in the next video.